Despite a recent inmate hunger strike and government relief efforts over the last year, one local leader says poor conditions continue at Rikers Island. News 12's Marissa Marcelino has the latest on Council Member Kevin Riley's recent visit to the jail. They have to use water bottles as shower heads. They haven't been able to go outside. Um, in months, and that's because of the lack of staffing. Bronx Council Member Kevin Riley told me these are some of the disheartening conditions on Rikers Island right now. Riley and Brooklyn Council Member Chio say saw them firsthand during a surprise visit on Tuesday. He says correction officers and inmates also described what they deal with day to day. It's not a safe environment for the people that are being detained there or the people that are working there. Riley said they visited Rikers during Black History Month to show support and solidarity. And he said he saw inhumane conditions inside. How can you expect someone to come back to society with their mind right if you're treating them like animals? Moldy bathrooms and freezing temperatures, missed court dates and missed lunch breaks. He says ongoing staff shortages hurt the quality of life, for people who are locked up and for those who work on the inside. The Department of Corrections says a thousand people returned to work on the island since the beginning of the year, but Riley says that's not enough. Shut down Rikers and open up, you know, different jails where we can actually start to rehabilitate these individuals that are coming into the system. Riley says in the meantime, he wants more cases to be seen in court to lower the population of Rikers and for more officers to go back to work. At Rikers Island, Marissa Marcelino, News 12. Now we did reach out to the Correction Officers Benevolent Association, the union for those officers at Rikers. We have not heard back yet. We will let you know when we do.